As we start to go faster and faster with our no prep drag RC cars, one of the most important things we can do is control how our body is reacting to the air as we are going down the road. What's up guys, it's Chad. Welcome back to the Dorky M40 RC channel. Pleased to have you here today. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. We do all kinds of RC stuff here. We mainly focus on the no prep drag RC scene, but of course we do some buggy and indoor carpet racing stuff too. And what I have here today is of course from Five Star Hobbies. This is their new side body mount kit. And really it's just as simple as it could be but it's made out of their awesome 3D printed material that they have. It's like a nylon carbon fiber type of infused material. Hard to really explain, just some simple nuts and bolts in there in the kit. Now I tried to do this last year and I was fairly successful at rigging up a certain kind of way to make this happen. And in the end, Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Uh, the thing that worked the best actually was just regular strips, uh, styrene strips that I made, but of course one crash and those things were toast. One actually even got caught in my wheel and cost me a race. So now we have like these freaking unbreakable, un oh my gosh, unbendable uh, side body mount supports that are literally going to just screw right onto the side of the breakout chassis. And they're gonna put pressure on our body right there at the corners in the front, right behind the wheels. So that way things don't start folding and flapping and doing all that kind of crazy stuff when we're going down the road, making a hit. Let's throw these on the chassis here real quick and see how they work. I'm pretty excited about this. All right, so I kind of see a problem here and I've actually just put a post on to the Facebook group for Five Star Hobbies to see what the intent is here. Take a look at my car. If you look real close right there, you can see the remnants of one of my side body mounts actually from last year. And we're gonna go ahead and I, I kind of, it's real time problem solving here, guys. So let me get this off of here. So I think in a perfect world, you would want these things to be in the front and in the back. But looking at their website picture, which I will flash up on the screen, it actually only shows them in the back but that's not a big deal. The bigger deal right off the bat, I'm not even gonna put this down. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to, is that I kind of did a test fit and these things are like freaking way too short for the Corvette body, which I know those guys run. Don't understand why they would not have made a length that was appropriate. All right, I'm not even gonna worry about putting this all the way down because I already know that this just doesn't work. I don't know why they would have done this, but I'm gonna take the Corvette body here and throw it on. So it's in there and it's sticking straight out. And I mean, it goes, I mean, I guess it does keep, it does keep the body from going in and rubbing on the tire, but I thought it would have actually came out a little bit more and kept things a little bit more solid, if you know what I mean. So things kind of weren't flopping around. Like, I don't really know if you want the flop or you don't want the flop. I'm kind of thinking you don't want the flop. I have to think that there's a method to their madness though. So here's what everything looks like online. And Jared did respond to my post and said that they are built intentionally just to keep the body from hitting the rear tire. Um, and they're not made for any specific body. I recommended that it would be great to have a longer version that we could kind of cut that would apply force 
he agreed, but he also said he wanted to make it polished and finished because let's face it, five stars prints are just primo stuff. I mean, these things, you just, uh, they're so solid. You saw how solid they were, but you know, I would like to have a set in the front and in the back. And we know Mark Vine did something similar with this, with the bullet chassis, where he had kind of like that carbon fiber thing coming out with like the flap for the air dams and all that kind of stuff. Don't really want to get that intricate, but you know, it would be nice to have some force pushing out on the body just to keep it from flapping, you know, between the work that he did and the work that Frank Ulbrich has done when it comes to removing the hood on the C7 body to, uh, you know, kind of create better arrow. And he actually, you know, gained a mile per hour with that. And he did it such a good job that Proline now is actually going to be releasing a new version of that body, I believe, without that big hood scoop on the front. So the video did not end like I thought it would, but we will see what's going on. I love the little things. I'm willing to try. I'm not going to dig on five star for this at all. Hopefully this will just encourage them to make some longer ones so we can just cut them off and make everything work. There's plenty of holes on the side of that chassis to put as many of these things as we need to. So that's going to do it for this little experiment, guys. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes you keep trying and I don't know what I'm saying. Peace, guys.